wake up.
Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I can't do this. I'm so afraid, Molly. I don't want to die. Oh, my God, I don't want to die. We held them as long as we could. I swear we did. Then Cielo asked for a magazine, and when I turned to give it to him, I... He's gone, Molly. He was there one second, and then he wasn't. His blood and... and bits of him. Oh, my God, he's all over me. Please, 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 let them leave. Let them leave. Let them leave. I just want to come home. I just want to be with you again. I'm hiding now. The Chinese are everywhere. I'm a coward. I'm a coward, I know, but I don't care. If they find me, I'm surrendering. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's real. Let's keep moving.
Damn fine work you did taking out those guns. Damn fine. No need to thank me. I know a genuine, true-blooded soldier when I see one. And that's why I sent you. Unfortunately, while you were up there climbing mountains, we were down here getting our butts kicked. The Chinese decided to use our field HQ for target practice, and damn near blew us all to pieces. We lost some good men, including my strike team commander, Colonel Patterson. I didn't call you down here for a pep talk and cigars. You've earned yourself a field promotion, soldier. As of this moment, you're taking over Patterson's strike team. And before you thank me, you better wait and see what your mission entails. There are three hardened targets that stand between us and the Chinese headquarters. That's where your strike team comes in. Follow me over to the situation map and I'll bring you up to speed. Okay, pay attention, soldier. I'm only gonna go through this once. We've set up our new field HQ down here. The area is pretty secure now that the artillery guns are gone. The first of the three targets we need to handle is their Chimera Depot over here. Be careful on your approach. You're gonna have to get through the enemy camp on the way. Once you breach the perimeter of the depot, you need to take out both of the main fuel tanks. Your second target is all the way over here. The Chinese have set up a listening post set into the side of Callaway Ridge. There are some abandoned mines along the route, so keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great place for an ambush. You need to clear the place of personnel, so we can get our intelligence boys in there to start decoding. Once the first two targets are down, the last obstacle standing in the way is their damn pulse field. You need to cross it, then cause it to overload, so we can mop up the place with the T-51Bs. Let me warn you now, unless you have some sort of a death wish, I wouldn't even go near the field until the first two targets are down. Lieutenant Morgan will be your eyes and ears for Operation Anchorage, so get everything else you need from him. Uncle Sam's invested a lot of money turning you into a killing machine. Time to pay him back. Dismissed! Lieutenant Thomas Morgan, Intelligence and Logistics at your service. I point, you shoot. So, you're in charge of Patterson's suicide squad, huh? Hey, all I got to keep me warm out here in this freeze box is my sense of humor. Anyway, I'm here to give you a hand with intelligence and logistics. Whatever you need. I'm your guy. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcements or status reports, just speak to him. So, what else can I do for you before you hit the field? Okay, that's what I'm here for. Uncle Sam's made it really easy for you. 
All you have to do is use Patterson's terminal here in the command tent. Use the recruitment markers I gave you and choose your team members any way you see fit. Then head outside to the barracks and your units will be ready to go. No way. The bigger your strike team, the bigger your footprint on all the Chinese sensing devices. You need to think small. The recruitment markers I gave you will recommend what size you keep your team in order to maintain the smallest footprint possible. So to put it simply, you pick a big clunky robot and you won't have much room left in the team for many other units. You decide. You can always speak to your strike team squad leader and requisition a new unit if you've lost one. Okay, whatever you need. That's my specialty. What target did you need to report on? You've got two fuel tanks to destroy. One in the central courtyard of the facility and one near the rear gate. This place is one tough nut to crack. Not only do you have the chimeras to contend with, but the place is heavily populated by infantry. Oh, this place is a honeypot, let me tell you. Not only is it swarming with regular ground troops, but they put their best guys in there as well, the Crimson Dragoons. I hear those guys start training as soldiers right from the womb, so watch yourself in there. The problem out there isn't the field itself. I mean, you wouldn't be foolish enough to drag robots out there with you. The place is crawling with their stealth units, the Crimson Dragoons. If you spot something out of the corner of your eye, Shoot first and ask questions later, or it's the last thing you'll ever see. Okay, whatever you need. Can do. Just use the requisition terminal here in the command tent. Pick whatever loadout you need, and the terminal will dispense a requisition tape. Bring it to the quartermaster officer and you're all set. The government sure loves its paperwork, doesn't it? Sure. What did you need to know? Yes? Put simply, it's a co-opted mining rig that's been changed into an armored vehicle. Bigger and tougher than any tank we have in our arsenal. The Chinese fitted the vehicle with multiple weapons, reinforced the armor, and outfitted them for long range. Take the explosive charges I gave you and locate both of the fuel tanks. Just stick them on and boom! Couldn't be easier. I wouldn't stand too close to admire your handiwork, though. The fireball will likely take your head off. Well, I don't know about you, but if I was running across the main battlefield, I'd like a few less of those monstrosities shooting at me. Take out the depot, and they have nowhere to rearm and refuel their armor. Otherwise, they'll blast your team to bits. Absolutely. Go on. Basically, you need to clear it of all personnel and make it safe for occupation by our troops. It's a little bit of a rat hunt, though, since you'll have to poke around inside the facility and root them out one by one. The Chinese have a team of commandos they call their Crimson Dragoons. They're pretty much the best soldiers they've got. That listening post is filled with those units. I'd be extra careful in there if I were you. They aren't about to give that place up lightly. Well, the Chinese army not only uses the listening post to spot our forces and relay battle information, they also use it for air traffic control. If we can get a hold of that facility, we can stop them from bombing the living hell out of us any chance they get. Absolutely. What did you need to know? Well, it generates a grid-based, localized electromagnetic pulse. Anything mechanical that goes through there gets all its circuits fried. 
The only thing that can punch through their defenses there are the T-51Bs, so you can see the problem. There's a bunker the Chinese have set up to monitor the area somewhere beyond the emitters. An operator in the bunker can deactivate the field to allow their own guys to pass through unharmed. If you can get to the bunker, you could set the field to overload and blow it out permanently. Yep, if you take down the pulse field, we'll send the T-51B shock troops in to blast through their defenses. And then, it's on to the headquarters. Absolutely. Okay, whatever you need. Better dead than red, right? The rest of the operation should make the artillery guns feel like a walk in the park.
Those tar- Questions? Remember that your strike team members got families too, you know. Let's send them home alive instead of in a pine box. Got it? Gets can't secure themselves. You got a job to do, soldier. Now snap to it! Sir! Well, looks like we're working together again, sir. General Chase assigned me to the strike team. And thanks to your promotion, I guess I'll be saluting you from now on. Simulation? What the hell are you talking about? This is as real as it gets, G.I. And thanks to you, a lot of guys are still vertical. Those artillery guns were pounding the crap out of our soldiers. All in a day's work, he says. Yeah, sure. Every day I wake up and single-handedly infiltrate a commie-infested base on a suicide mission. With a role model like you, our boys are gonna turn into killing machines. Subroutines? This is an army gig, not the Navy. You sure those artillery guns going off didn't shake something loose up there? Look. We all want to get through this. None of us asked to be here. We all left things behind when this shit started. Some of the guys out here are falling apart. We need guys like you to keep them focused. Make them think they're gonna get home one day. That's the spirit, buddy. Now, on to bigger and better things, eh? Well, everyone's ready to go kick some commie ass, sir. What are your orders? Well, they're pretty much untouched. The listening post needs to be secure, and the fuel tanks at the Chimera Depot need to be destroyed. Of course, after all that's done, the pulse field still needs to be deactivated. Yes, sir. On our way. We'll wait for you by the mining tank. Take this extra gear with you. Requisitions be damned. If anyone asks, it fell off a truck. Everything appears to be in order. Here you go.
Eliminate. 